my gallery page, which is where uh, I'm going to use this page to have the light box on. And this is where all my triggers are. Now I've got a panel in the back that just has a, a black double border. And you can see that in the style properties, border style double. And obviously it's black in color. We're going to go ahead and get, we need one more um, HTML. And that's up on the extras tab up at the top on the far right. We click that. Here's that. Now we're going to go to Graham's instructions and I'm going to show you where to pull the code out for a thumbnail um, HTML trigger. Okay, here's the instructions and it's under step two. Um, so we will find uh, exactly what we want to use as a trigger. Now, here's your link style code right there. And here's the JPEG code. And this is what I'm using as my code because I'm going to use a JPEG thumbnail as a trigger for uh, the light box effect. So I went ahead and copied that. We're going to go ahead and go back in galleries. Uh, my HTML object is right there. I'm going to go up to the main tab. And I'm going to click custom HTML. Click that. That will open up your box and be able to paste that code in there. There's your code. Um, a couple things we don't need. Number one, we're not selling his pots here. So we're going to change that. This is going to be flower eight. And that's just basically the title or little caption that will show up on, uh, excuse me, below the image um, when that pops up. And you can type in anything there you want, your car, your motorcycle, uh, your house, whatever, just whatever pertains to the image that's going to pop up. Next thing I need to do is I need to change the image uh, part in this code so that it references um, my image, one for the thumbs, and number two for the large image that pops up from the trigger. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to get, and obviously since it doesn't have the correct linkage right now, it just shows you the little red X. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go up and pull a picture in real quick. And I'm going to get the name of the picture that I still need to put in there, which I'm not really sure, actually. And a quicker way to do that is just go to my media that I've imported, go into my thumbs, and I can look at it. And I believe that should be the last one right there. So I'm going to click that again. I'm just going to copy that. Go back to my page editor. I don't need that image in there. Click this. Now the size of those images. Uh, is 100 by 75 in height. So I'm going to change that so that that trigger is the exact same size as my thumbnail image. Go ahead and access the code again. I'm going to go ahead and paste in my code there. Now I use a, a, an underscore S to show for the small JPEG and for the large one I just take that designation off of it. So that's what I got there. We'll go ahead and paste the other one for the trigger. And then when I click out of this, then it should show my image. And there we are. Now I'm going to bring this up. Now I'm going to uh, put a border on it like I have done the rest of them. Border, double. And we're all set. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. So I've got a little caption under the picture so they know what they're clicking. Not that it's anything of huge importance, but it's nice to have a little something there. There you go. And now we've got all our HTML triggers, all our code. Everything there is there, ready to go. I've got a button back here, obviously just a link to click back home to the home page or the index page. I'm going to go ahead and save because I like to do that once I've done quite a bit of editing. There we go. This is probably one of the really key steps uh, in basically getting this uh, to work properly. Um, the code in step one needs to be in the page properties into the top HTML. And I've already got the code pasted in there. That is where you put that code. It has to go into the head properties because it cannot function if it's not there. If you put it in the body, it's not going to work. 
So this is where you need to put this up in the head HTML. Very important. Here's another step that's real important um, for your images to actually be uploaded using antenna. What you need to do, um, there's one of two ways you can do it. Um, I'm doing this per Graham's instructions, which is to create a layer. If you look down here at your layers palette, um, I've created just a standard layer. I've called it photos. Now in that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to import um, my thumbnails, which that's all these here. I'm going to select all. We got all selected. I'm going to go ahead and add those to the page. And as you see, that's added to the page. I'm going to go back up again. Go to the large images, and I'm going to select all those. And we're going to add those to the page as well. Now, what you need to do is uh, one. I'm going to move them up so that when I center my page, it, it doesn't scroll way down. There's no reason for it to do that. But if these are uh, down there like that, it will scroll way down. Now I'm going to set that layer, uh, the opacity to zero. Now you can do that in the layers palette right here. Now you can see that it says it's 100%. Now I'm going to just put my uh, mouse over that and drag after holding down the uh, left mouse button. And there you go. Now the opacity is zero. Now you can no longer see those images, but that will help load those uh, through antenna directly to your site. So there you go.